This tutorial is intended to show the average enthusiast how to make their own data-driven ASP.NET web application. ASP.NET is not to be confused with ASP, that's of course Active Server Pages. This is the new and improved version, they are not directly compatible. Here I am inside Visual Web Developer 2010 Express. As you can see here, I have a lot of different choices related to the C Sharp uh, programming interface within uh, ASP.NET. I can also choose Visual Basic up here. I'm going to choose the simple ASP.NET web application. Double click opens up our sample site here. Let's switch it down here to split screen. Reframe it. This is the standard opening of every ASP.NET beginning application. I'm just going to go ahead and delete this stuff. Of course a lot of this is, um, you know, you can see up here some of this you might see is it familiar slightly. It's uh, Some of it's HTML. Um, so let's go ahead and let's add data connections. I have some here but if I wanted to could go in here, connect to database. I can change this. I can do it to an access database, an ODBC data source, SQL Server, a data file, and an Oracle database. As we can see, it goes all the way up to 10G. I'm going to connect to SQL Server. I'm going to select my server name. I have two different ones, so I have to select it. We have SQL Server Express database name. We're going to connect to AdventureWorks, test the connection, connection succeeded. So as we can see here, I already have these connections set up. Let's pull in the date field. All I did was drag it and dropped it. Okay? If we want to go to the toolbox, alternatively, pin this to the side right here, you can see a plethora of options available to you. Let's enable sorting, let's enable editing, deleting, and let's enable the selection of the cells themselves. Okay? Let's auto format this, we can change this, let's keep it with blue, apply, okay. Let's hit F5 and debug our application. And there we go. We can edit this, delete it, or select it. And in 45 seconds, you just made a ASP.NET driven, data driven web application. Not only do we have the ability to develop via the web, we also have the ability to directly integrate with SQL Server on not just a simple um, data pull level, but we can actually once I refresh these, we can actually go in to the tables and augment the tables themselves. So if I was to uh, do a breakout on these, I can right click, I can copy these, and I can paste these in. Um, I can also actually double click on them, and I can establish null values. I can do almost anything that I can do within the same SQL interface in Management Studio as I can here. So if I wanted to go in and add address 2, as you can see the compulsive, compulsive uh, brackets on the side, um, I could. And it would only become reflected when I save this. So this is a live change on the SQL server. And one additional thing I wanted to note, past the data, was when you go down to validation, navigation, we have login controls, we have web parts, Ajax, which is asynchronous JavaScript. Really the amount of the amount of tools as far as Microsoft Visual Web Developer is is is, is pretty endless. Um, so that's one note I wanted to make on that. Now let's go over to some of the general functionality. Okay, so I've taken the liberty of um, adding some small additions to the site so we can take a look at the different small pieces of functionality that exist in the toolbox of ASP.NET. Um, we have calendar checkbox, checkbox list, drop down list. We have file upload as well as image, link button, 
and radial button, some other interesting things, table, text box, and the standard. If you break out data, you'll also find a large, robust amount of tooltips that can really help you develop a, a very powerful data-driven site. Now, what I've done is just the simple ones. So I've added an image file here, and all you really have to do to add an image is you go up, you drag an image, you click on the image, you go to the image URL over here, you paste the image into your ASP project really anywhere as long as it's uh, uh, within the ASP folder that you're uh, deploying from and you select it and then you click OK and it'll pop this up and you can resize this however you wish and if I wanted to add in a link all I would have to do is drag in the link button within my small paragraph here I can add in as many link buttons as I want you can see the code being generated up here and this is the title and this is the back end what it actually what it actually ends up being okay and that about does it for this short tutorial on ASP.net feel free to subscribe or send me a message and I'll send you back an answer thanks